everybody. It's been a long time since I've been able to post anything. I think uh, the last video I made was like two weeks ago. So time just got away from me. But during that time, I've been working on um, several new things. What I'm showing today, I'm actually really, really excited about. This was a fun project that was inspired by a couple creators um, here on YouTube. One of them was scrapbooking with me and the other one was treasure books. So what I did was I took a single um, six by six, a single eight by eight, and a single 12 by 12. And I came up with projects off of those three size papers because those are my three most common papers I have in my stash. So um, that is what I'm showing you today, the different things that I came up with. I did not do exactly as they have done. So if you are interested in doing something similar, they have their own videos that they have devoted to taking um, a single sheet of paper and then coming up with several projects from that one sheet. So anyways, let me show you what I have done. So I have three sets like this. And so what I did was I took an eight by eight piece of paper. Um, I had this paper in my stash that I really, really love and I've been wanting to use and it's by the Paper Boutique. And so I wanted to get the most out of that paper. So what I did was I took an eight by eight sheet and I tried to come up with a set that I could use and sell in my Etsy shop. And um, so let me just show you what I did. Um, I'm gonna show you how I, so I kind of just took a grid, grid of paper and just kind of divided it up. So from that one eight by eight, I got two tags that measure two by three. I made two of these little um, specimen card things um, and those measured two by six and then I fold them in half and made them that way. So this is from another set. So I think these kind of look better the way I did these. But anyways, um, so I have two of those and then I got a journal cover. So for the journal cover, all I did was I just laminated it and used it in a spiral bound uh, junk journal. I realized I didn't have a lot of spiral bound junk journals in my shop and I kind of like the idea of using the spiral bound. So I decided to come up with some and then I just used a normal chipboard back. And I'll do a flip through of what this looks like here in just a second. And then I was left with a four by four piece of paper that I turned into just a little mini envelope. And then I included a little card. So this is what one of the sets looks like. So let me do a flip through. The inside of these journals pretty much look the same. There is 25 pieces of paper and I just, I did stamping and I did some lace some stitching, here's some pockets. Um, I don't have a six by six set to show you, but this is one of the things that I'd made from a six by six piece of paper was um, a little tea bag, like writing spot. And that just fits down in this little tea bag envelope. So I have that stuck in there. All right, we've got vellum paper. Here's a little pocket. This is this came from um, the six by six piece. I got two of these pockets in here. I'm trying to think what was the other items that <laughs> flips out like that. I have a little lace ruffle right there. A lace tab. Oh, the other thing, here it is. Okay, so I also have this little writing spot that I got from the six by six and one of those other pockets. I'll have to do another video to show you maybe what came from a six by six paper. There's that. I'm just trying to go really fast. Okay, and then I've got, this also came from the six by six where I did a little layered pocket. So you could stick something back here or right here. You know, it looks, since I've already shown what this is, let's put one of these in here. There we go. Okay, and that's what the inside looks like of that spiral bound journal. All right, so I also have, this is what the front cover of this one looks like. Little fairy. And I'm not gonna do a full clip through of this. You kinda, you get the idea. I'll just kind of cut some of these. Okay. 
Some of the little specimen slides in there. There's that. And there we go. All right, I'll stuff those in there. Okay. And here is the last one I made so far. I'm going to make more of these for sure because they were a lot of fun. You know, I'm not going to bother with that right now. Anyways, that's what the front of that one looks like. Okay, and I'll show you what I drew again just so you can kind of get the idea. So there was the journal cover. So just divide it straight down the middle. So the four inch side and then so this was a four by five and then I did two two by threes two two by sixes and then a four by four for the envelope so anyways okay now the other thing the project I decided to come up with was using a 12 by 12 paper and here I'll show you what my pattern looks like so this is the pattern for treasure books and this is the pattern I came up with. And I know it looks like a lot with a lot of lines. And I did. I get a lot of stuff out of it. So let me show you the set that I made from that grouping. Okay. Sorry. Let me hit that. Okay. So we have a junk journal. We have a tux. Uh, what did I call that? Um, just a little card tuck with a tab. And then I have two of these tags. We have a little envelope writing spot. And then I just have this little tiny paper clip dangle that coordinates with it to tuck that into a journal. And then also we have this file folder that has pockets on the inside to hold journaling cards. Oh, that'll be a fun thing to tuck in your journal. So that's why this looks so overwhelming is because two of those are just little teeny tiny pockets that go inside of this file folder. So when you do that first cut there, you're gonna, those two go inside of this. So anyways, let's show you what the laminated journal looks like. So this is just a full, I did a pamphlet stitch for the spine. And so the whole thing, the whole outside of it's laminated. Treasure Books shares how she um, she does one of these. Mine is just a slightly smaller size than how she does hers, but I, I did it so I could fit more stuff on the paper. Okay, so her signature. I try to leave as many blank sheets as possible in here so that it could have more spots to write. So you're going to see this one is not super exciting. Okay, I'm not sure why my camera just cut off, but I'm back. Anyways, so just to continue on with the flip through, like I said, it's a lot of blank pages, just completely um, empty so somebody can decorate and make it their own. I didn't realize how how much white space I had on the inside of this. So the next one I do, it may not be like this. Okay, but anyways, so that's what that looks like. And we have a little um, teapot on the front. There's beauty and simplicity, which I think that was fitting because the inside of this journal is very simple. Okay, and obviously, look, this is going to be much larger than the journal is. But I am going to like put this all together as a set. This can be used in maybe a larger journal or um, a Bible or a book as a, like a bookmark or however. And then um, this can just clip in onto one of these pages because it fits pretty much anywhere you put it. And then it's a journaling spot. And then these, yeah, they can just go anywhere inside of the journal. So anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, oh, let me show you a couple more things I've been working on. Oh wait, here's these. Little project share. I made these using, I was just playing around with my cinch, as you can see a lot here lately. Um, these have an acetate cover. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. And then you got a little bit of lace there. And these have three dividers. And each divided section has 10 little sheets of lined paper. They're actually cardstock. I use three by five cards to make these. 
There's what that one looks like, and there's what that one looks like. This is the Maggie Holmes collection that I used. Uh, I cannot remember the name of this collection. But anyways, I did use Maggie Holmes for the inside. And then it says, shine like the whole universe is yours. There's one divided section. And then there's that one. Okay, so that was another thing I was going to share. All right, and the last thing. I have been making a ton of embellishments, and these are going to go in the shop whenever I have time to do finish them. Um, I wanted to make a whole lot more before I listed them. but So I have these little coffee cup embellishments. I'm going to sell these in, like, random sets. Some of them can just be, like, little journaling spots. Some of them just cute little tuck-ins. So we have coffee cups. And then we have mason jars. I was basically going through my scraps and just like trying to eliminate a lot of scraps. So I decided to do like mass making of embellishments. Okay, and then I have these little dresses. Let's put those back in their spot. Okay, and then these are my absolute favorites. I have these little tiny bird embellishments. And these are really thick. I have double layered these. I don't know if you can tell. So they're pretty thick. And then I'm gonna have these little tiny word strips. They have sewing on them. All kinds of colors so I'll sell those in sets mystery sets every one of these I'm probably just gonna do like mystery sets and then I have some more of these that I have I have put in the, in the uh, shop before these are not done actually I just realized I didn't put any pearls on them but anyways so those are some of the things I've been working on I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you have a wonderful and blessed day take care